Hey everybody, welcome back to another grocery haul. Today I shopped at Walmart. If you're new, my name is Ashley and I share grocery hauls every Saturday. And I share with you how I shop on a budget for my family of four. We live in Southern California. And the number one thing that I do to save money is I meal plan. So I make a two week meal plan. I do a huge grocery shop at Aldi. I did that last week and I'm gonna link that video down below if you haven't seen it. That's where I have um, the majority of the groceries for this two week meal plan. The meal plan's also in the description box and recipe links to any recipes I'm making is there as well. This video is a fill-in haul. So the next week, halfway through my meal plan, I do a fill-in haul usually with Walmart grocery pickup. That saves me money because I'm not going into the store and I can make sure I don't go over my budget. My budget is $225 every two weeks. And since this video is gonna be kind of short, since it's a small fill-in haul, not super exciting, I do include video clips at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that, of some of the meals that I made the past week. So let's get into it. I'm gonna share prices and what everything's for. All right, so the main thing that I wanted to make this week was strawberry shortcake. I just have been feeling the summer recipes. Last week you guys shared some recipe recommendations. Um, we made the cheeseburgers you suggested and the tortellini pasta salad, which was so good. So leave some recipe ideas down below. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, desserts, anything that gives you that summer feel. For me, it's strawberry shortcake. I picked up these two pounds of strawberries. I also got some whipped topping. It's cheaper than the Cool Whip. I think it tastes the same. I ordered a 16 ounce, but they gave me two eight ounces, which is fine. And I like it with these dessert shells. This is just what we had growing up. It's like pound cake, and I picked up two of these, or I ordered it. I did do Walmart pickup. Someone mentioned you can do it with biscuits, and I have had it with biscuits, so I think we'll do it again um, in another two weeks, and we'll do it with biscuits, and I'll have my husband compare which one he liked better. He's never had strawberry shortcake, so <laughs> we're going to do a little review on Instagram. Make sure you follow me there, too, so you can see daily what we're eating. Next, I got some cuties. I wanted to get these um, for my husband. He likes taking these to work, and they did not have any at Aldi the past two times I went. So I got a big bag from Walmart. I also got a pineapple, and I got some Pepsi Zero Sugar. This is just a six-pack. I picked up some orange juice for breakfast, as well as this vanilla caramel um, coffee creamer. I picked up this small container of butter. We use this on toast in the morning. Usually my daughter Savannah is like the main toast eater in our household. And we needed a little more to get us through till my next Aldi trip. And then eggs, I got one dozen to get us through. This was the cheapest kind that they had. So that's the kind that I got. I also chose some romaine lettuce for Caesar salad. We have everything else from Aldi, so we're going to use dressings and croutons and such, but we needed some fresh lettuce. That's why I do this fill-in haul, because the fresh stuff does not last for two whole weeks. I also like doing a fill-in haul from Walmart because I can get some things that they don't have at Aldi, such as an actual deli. So I got a half pound of this hickory um, peppered turkey and that was $5.92, and I just really love fresh deli turkey, so we got that at Walmart. This is another thing. Um, this was actually a substitution. My daughter, Scarlett, really likes the cheese um, pizza rolls, and we had a few dollars left in our budget, so, I mean, honestly, I could go over budget super easily. I could have got mac and cheese. I was thinking about getting laughing cow cheese. Um, there's quite a few things that I was thinking to add, but I really do my best to stay inside of our budget. And we had a few dollars left and what made the cut was pizza rolls because we really haven't bought these for a long time. And they substituted the pepperoni. So I don't know if she's gonna like these. I approved it because my husband was like, ooh, pepperoni pizza rolls. <laughs> so um, that piqued his interest. He's behind me right now, excited. He's probably gonna dig into these for lunch today. But um, they have the cheese ones, and that's the one that my daughter Scarlett likes. But I'll have her try that, and we'll see if she likes it. 
We love getting this French bread. We used to do non-pizzas every Friday, and now we're on a French bread pizza kick. So we just cut this down the middle and make French bread pizzas. We have the sauce already, we have pepperoni already, and we have mozzarella cheese from Costco. For some fresh produce, I got four ears of corn. They don't sell this at Aldi, so that's why I picked it up. I also got some asparagus. Aldi did have it, but since it's on the second half of my meal plan, I wanted to have it fresh. A lot of times I'll do frozen vegetables and frozen fruit at the end of my meal plan since I shop for two weeks. But um, otherwise, I will just get it fresh from this fill-in haul. I also got a zucchini. I'm the only one that likes it, so everyone else will have a different vegetable. I picked up these mushrooms because I'm going to be making some chicken marsala. I got marsala sauce from Aldi, um, just in that random aisle that has like limited find items. And I'm gonna be reviewing that on Instagram. My Instagram's linked below. I also picked up this yellow rice. I saw this on a video from 50 Shades of Mom and she raved about this rice. So I decided we would give it a try. I'm gonna be trying the Mediterranean chicken burgers from or chicken patties from Aldi from the frozen section. We're gonna pair it with this rice and I'm eating that tomorrow night. So the review for that will be up on Sunday. I also got these sweet Hawaiian hamburger buns. I love the selection of Hawaiian bread products at Walmart. They have buns, hot dog buns, pretzel buns, like pretty much anything you can think of in the Hawaiian style, so it's sweet. We're gonna use this for barbecue pulled pork sandwiches, and it's the off-brand, so it was a little cheaper. And then my neighbor is so sweet, we've been giving our neighbor some cherry tomatoes from my mom's garden. And they brought us this giant watermelon. So that was super, super nice. So we have that as well. And I didn't have to put that into my budget. So this is everything for this last week of my meal plan. Please stay tuned and I will share with you some of the meals we've been making. And make sure you follow my Instagram so that you can see daily what we're eating and things that we're doing through the week. And I just really appreciate you guys. Take a second to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you like budget friendly meals and make sure you leave a meal suggestion in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week on Saturday with another Aldi haul and I hope you have a great week. Make Thanks sure for you watching. Subscribe. Woohoo! Bye. This is Savannah's typical breakfast. Um, two pieces of sourdough toast with butter, a yogurt, and some grapes. Today for lunch I made cream cheese pancakes, which is just cream cheese and eggs. Super simple. The recipe is on my Instagram. We topped it with strawberries and syrup, and it's a great way to get protein into the kids when they don't eat like eating a lot of meat. For lunch today, the kids are having cheesy roll-ups. It's just a tortilla with mozzarella and cheddar cheese with a yogurt tube and some grapes, strawberries, and carrots. Ooh, looks good. <laughs> All right, dinner today is French bread pizzas. Savannah is having it with carrots. The rest of us are having it with Caesar salad. For dinner tonight, we are gonna have sandwiches, fruit, and French fries. Scarlett doesn't really like sandwiches, so she's just having pepperoni. She has some bell pepper and watermelon. She has some french fries, and then she asked for some leftover pasta, so I gave her that. And then Savannah has a turkey sandwich on a Hawaiian roll with carrots and watermelon. She has her french fries, and I gave her a little bit of leftover pasta in case she wanted some as well. Here's my husband's plate. He's having two turkey sandwiches on hot dog buns because Bread is bread and we make it work with some seasoned fries and watermelon. And then for me, I'm just doing like a lettuce wrap turkey sandwich. Mine has pickles and pepperoncinis and watermelon and seasoned fries as well. And that's dinner for all of us. Our French bread got moldy so we had to improvise. And I still think our sandwich night turned out pretty good. We're going to the beach today, so we're kind of having dinner for lunch and we're packing a bunch of snacks. So we're having chicken legs with rice and I made a little baby salad for Scarlett with half an apple and some blueberries. Here's Savannah's plate. She doesn't care for chicken and rice, so I just gave her a little bit to try again. 
I gave her some um, chicken nuggets. It's the last of the Just Bear chicken nuggets we had from the freezer, as well as some pretzels. And she has the other half of apple with blueberries and carrots. This is our lunch plate. I have a chicken leg just like Scarlet, but mine has garlic butter and Parmesan cheese on top. Then I have some rice with garlic butter and some Asian veggies. These are from Aldi. This was a great bag. A lot of times it's mostly carrots, but this one had a lot of baby corn, which is my favorite part. And then my husband has the same thing, garlic Parmesan chicken legs. They're just like wings, but so much more meat, so crispy and delicious. I cooked that in the air fryer, as well as veggies and rice. Savannah doesn't like fish, so she is just having a hot dog with some watermelon. I will give her a small piece of fish to try. And I do cut her hot dog in half, and I still cut her grapes in half because I'm a crazy mom. But yeah, this is her dinner. Here's Scarlett's plate. She's having fish and watermelon. Here's my husband's plate. Some green beans with garlic salt, fish, and rice. And here's my plate. I have the rice and green beans as well, but I had my fish with blackened seasoning and I'm excited. Looks good. Here's the kids' plates. This is Scarlett's plate. Chicken, roasted potatoes, watermelon, blueberries, and um, bell peppers. And then here is Savannah's plate. She has more potatoes because she really likes potatoes. Stop, that's not yours. <laughs> Chicken, potatoes, watermelon, blueberries, and she has carrots instead. This is for the kids. All right, like the kids, my husband and I are having chicken and roasted potatoes. We grilled the chicken with thyme, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. Some air fried potatoes. This is microwave broccoli from Aldi and some corn on the cob from Walmart. I have tahini on mine. And here is my husband's plate. A little more chicken and no tahini. And that's dinner. For lunch, my husband is taking some leftover ravioli lasagna. He's taking this for a couple days to finish it off. And he's gonna take it with some watermelon and dry cereal. So this side was recommended by one of you in my last video. It's a tortellini pasta salad. I cooked some cheese tortellini from Aldi, this one right here. I boiled it and I rinsed it in cold water. Then I tossed it in olive oil, dried basil, crushed garlic, salt and pepper and added some half cherry tomatoes from my mom's garden. I had some leftover French green beans from dinner last night, chopped those up, added them in, as well as half of these mini mozzarella balls from Aldi. I didn't have fresh basil, so I stirred in some of this Italian herb paste from Aldi, love this. They also have garlic, ginger, cilantro, and I think basil. And then I topped it with this balsamic glaze from Trader Joe's. So this is going to be alongside peachy chicken for dinner tonight. So thank you guys for the yummy dinner suggestion. All right, here is Scarlett's plate. She has Caesar salad, some chicken and pasta with butter and Parmesan cheese. And I gave her a bite of the new chicken to try. Savannah has a little salad. She doesn't like dressing with some chicken and some plain pasta, and she has a little bite to try as well. Here's my husband's plate. He has the pasta salad without the tomatoes. This is that peachy chicken, and he has a Caesar salad. And then for my plate, I have peachy chicken, pasta salad with tomatoes, and a side salad with tomatoes. Looks so good in summary. Thank you guys so much for this suggestion for dinner. Tonight we are having some potato wedges I made in the air fryer. The recipe is on my recent um, video from last week in the description box. And we're having cheeseburgers and this was recommended by you guys. And it's super simple but it's going to be a really good meal and not something that we've done for a while. So thanks guys. And here's my burger. It has lettuce, tomato, and pickle on it. I feel like the more toppings the better. I also have potato wedges. The kids have been feasting on potato wedges. They weren't big fans of burgers. Um, they didn't want me to film them tonight. So this is just me and my husband's plates. But thank you guys for all the suggestions for meals. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And I'll see you guys next week with another grocery haul. Thanks, guys. Bye.